Deference to my co-author on the motion, I'd like to move to extend debate for not more than two minutes for, for the purpose of allowing the other co-author of the motion, Mr. Buff, to uh, address the meeting in favor of the motion. Second. It, is there any objection? Seeing an objection, we will vote on the motion to extend debate. All those in favor of extending debate by no more than two minutes, uh, raise your hands. <laughs> All those opposed? In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. Debate is extended for two minutes. The chair recognizes Mr. Buff for a speech for the motion. Thank you, Warren Buff. Last year, in the supporting documentation for this, we did address the voter information. We indicated that we intend to, if this is rat ratified, submit a standing rule proposal to clarify how we would send out arguments for and against and how we would choose, well, the, the makers of the motion would be the leads for and, we, and the business meeting would choose a lead against uh, for this process. Uh, I don't believe we actually wrote out what the standing rule proposals would be, but we do intend to make them. Uh, this would extend that franchise, as we've been saying. We keep ta uh, talking about the problem of supporting members who don't act like members. Let's give them the chance. The chair will note that there is roughly 10 seconds left in favor of the amendment and just about two minutes against. No. The chair recognizes, Ms. Three, Hayes, three what, for what purpose does the member speak for or against? The chair recognizes Ms. Hayes. There's actually about three minutes left against. The so chair you know. can't do math. No, he really can't. <laughs> Lisa Hayes, though my husband proposed this and I agree with many of his positions, I am personally opposed to it because in this day and age with the number of people involved, the voting would likely be entirely or substantially electronic. I do not want to have a major vote on a position on Worldcon come down to whoever posts to YouTube or to Facebook first, hits their link, and gets uh, 11,000 people to jump over and vote one direction or the other without thinking. This sounds ridiculous, but I know it has happened. Thank you. The chair recognizes the gentleman in the vest. I will note that there is 10 seconds left for speeches in favor of the motion. Dr. David Clement speaking against. That um, is out of order. Out of order. This is a speech for. Oh, my apologies. That was not clear to me. I, I will recognize the member in the much nicer. No, I shouldn't say much nicer. <laughs> I still note that you have 10 seconds. My name is Rachel X, and I will make this very brief. If you want to keep the world in Worldcon, you need to make it more accessible to international members, which means allowing remote voting. <laughs> they have half a second. There is half a second left for <laughs> speeches in favor, and just over two minutes speeches against. In favor. Again. Yeah. The chair recognizes the gentleman here if it's a speech against. I'm David Wallace. Uh, this is my first Worldcon. Um, I, I want to say real fast, I had th three points against this. One of them's already been fully covered, I think. Um, a year ago, I might have supported it, but I think the events of the last few months have convinced me that this is a bad idea. Excuse me. Uh, the first is it extends the ratification period by a year. It's been clear that sometimes we need to be able to act more quickly than that. So I object on that ground. The second is in the events of the last few months, there was an appeal by one of the slate sponsors to go out and get a whole bunch of outsiders to come and get supporting memberships in order to vote against, uh, to vote for the slate. 
and I believe that this proposal would just encourage more such actions. It's fine to say we want to extend the franchise to the rest of Worldcon, but I think we would have a lot more of these things happening in the, in the future, and I don't think that's good for Worldcon. Thank you. I urge you to vote against. The chair notes that time for uh, speeches in favor has virtually expired, seeing as how there's only 30 seconds. And there no, is half a second. Half a second. <laughs> There is just over 30 seconds for... No, just uh, over a minute. There is a motion to call the previous question. Is there an objection? Or second? Is there an objection? It's not out of order because he was wrong about how much time is left. There's 60 second, 67 seconds left. So there left. is more than a minute left. It is in order. I apologize. Is there an objection to calling the question? All those in... Yeah, he, he objected. Yeah. How many people want to speak? Two. No. 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 Just a show of hands. There is yeah. some members wishing to speak. We will now call the question on calling the question. All those in favor of calling the question, please raise your hands. All those opposed? In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The question is called. We will now vote on the motion. Which page is it on? Uh, five. Actually, I'm not going to read it. All those in favor of the popular ratification uh, motion, please raise your hands. All those opposed? In the opinion of the chair, the noes have it. Right. Yes. I, uh, for what? Serpentine vote. He moves for the Yeah. He, the I, member moves for the division of the House. Is there a second? So, we are going to divide the house. We are going to start in favor of the motion, starting at this side. Stand, please rise. We will go down the row and back to the wall and then finish that section, then move to the middle, and then move to the end. Yeah. Uh, this is four. Do you, what do you need? I was going to say, if you have difficulty standing, just have people... Hopefully, though. Ten. Are there any members who do not believe they were counted? Yes. 69 votes in favor. Now all those against, please rise. We will do the same format. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, 
Is there anyone that does not believe they were recognized? As it is 99 to 69 and there is no uh, simple majority in favor, the motion is not ratified. Question of the tech team: How, Do we have? Do we need another two minutes here? We only got about fifteen minutes before adjournment. Are we good? Okay. All right. Let's see what we can get through here. Glenn wants to. Mr. Glazer, for what purposes? Uh, you, you, what? Okay. Come. come on. Mr. Glazer. Glenn Glazer, because Mr. Oakes has returned to the room, I would like to move to bring back from the table the previously laid on the table motion. Okay, it has been moved and seconded to take from the table the motion B24 open source software. All, uh, yeah, uh, for what purpose? Yes? Estimated time. Uh, Ten minutes debate time, and that will use up the rest of the day, if, the rest of, our, rest of our mess session. We need to adjourn by 1245. We've got about 15 minutes. What? Okay, don't get up, folks. The meeting is in recess for one minute.